Hi, I'm Jenny Dempsey, your workplace wellness coach, and this is the Avocado Show, where I interview business leaders about their self-care wins and struggles while busy at work. Today, I'm inspired to take a walk by my friend Jeremy Watkin, who's featured in this episode. He's the Director of Customer Experience at FCR, and I've known him for over a decade. Pretty great guy. Now, what else does he have to say about his own self-care wins and struggles in the workplace? Watch this video to find out. This is Jeremy Watkin. I am the Director of Customer Experience at FCR. And I'm super excited to be on the Avocado Show. Let's talk about self-care a little bit. My wins, first of all. Uh, I have three for you. The first one is walking. When I know that I have a meeting that's going to be on my phone exclusively, uh, I will get my, and I got some AirPods recently and they're super awesome. <laughs> they're the wireless Apple earbuds. Anyway, if I know I have a phone meeting, uh, I don't sit at my desk and take that call. I run downstairs out of the office and I take it and I just walk, whether it's walking around one of our call centers or if I'm at my office, I walk around the neighborhood and just talk on the phone that way. So much better than sitting around in a de desk chair for an hour. If I don't happen to have one of those meetings, I still make it a point every day, unless it's raining cats and dogs, to get out at least even for 15 minutes. And it's great to just chew on tough problems or just take a break. I'll admit that I sometimes eat at my desk so that uh, I can take that time later to go for a walk. Second thing, I'm pretty good at packing a healthy lunch, you know, leaving the junk food aside, packing a salad, it might be leftovers from a fairly healthy dinner. I found that partly because I'm a fairly frugal person that uh, if I pack my lunch, I'm going to eat it and I'm not going to go spend money on something else. So if I pack a healthy lunch, I'm going to eat a healthy lunch. <laughs> and that helps me get at least one good healthy meal in every day. Third thing, more of a mental thing, is uh, I'm getting pretty good at it's either assuming positive intent or seeking to understand before being understood. You know, people are gonna say things day in and day out that are gonna irk you in some way, or it gets really easy to get our feelings hurt. And I'm getting better and better at not letting my feelings get hurt, but, you know, hearing what they said, getting clarification if I need to, but if there's a long lag between when I can talk to them, not letting my brain get hijacked and get all stressed out about what they said or why they said it, waiting, assuming that they didn't mean it maliciously, and then working it out later. So so I'm getting better at that, and I think it's good for my brain. So I think there's some maybe some mindfulness going on in there. Um, okay, let's talk about my struggles. Struggle number one, I said that I eat healthy lunches, but what about if somebody brings cookies or chocolate to the office? You know, I have certain things that I say are off limits because the ingredients they have, but if somebody brings dark chocolate or peanut butter cups, uh, I feel the need to eat them like they're going out of style. So I need to keep working on that. One thing that helps in that area is to know that, you know, if I have a day where I sort of go overboard, uh, I know that tomorrow is a new day and that I can show up, say, you know, maybe I'll eat a healthy lunch and then have one or two of these, but I don't feel the need to eat the whole thing. Getting better at that, it seems like it's going to be a constant thing that I deal with in my life. Struggle number two, and this is more about my work productivity. I've dabbled on and off. I've had this relationship with my, my calendar where I try and take tasks and rather than just spending my day responding to email or venturing over to social media, obviously for work purposes, Twitter and, and Slack and things like that, I've been trying to schedule some of those tasks that I tend to put off on my calendar so that I get them done during the day rather than saving them till right before a deadline or having to take them home. I have days where I don't focus like I should and then I Again, tomorrow's a new day and I can set my calendar before I get there and be way more productive. Last thing is uh, that's I think a constant struggle and I think it needs to be is sharpening the saw. Another reference from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. There are nights I go home and watch TV and I could be reading a book. Just constantly trying to continue to focus on learning and bettering myself, I think is very important. So that's it. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. You forget to give a